Welcome back to TikTok Rack Reactions. It's me, yours truly, the Jerry Salts of Jugs, Dalton Pruitt. I've been receiving a little bit of criticism on these uh, these videos. Uh, some folks have said that what I'm doing is stupid and cringe. Um, that at one point in time, I was a promising young comedian uh, who suffered a life-threatening... Uh, mental health problem, and, and uh, after which I have become a whiny, cringe uh, individual. And I, but you know, I, but I think it was, it was Albert Camus who taught us that existence itself is cringe. So you could also consider me the Albert Camus of uh, big, big old mega moo moos. Uh, but yeah, he, right here we have the, uh, we have a, Lovely lady by the name of Zoe with a couple of triple P's, uh, pale petite perkies. And if big fat slobber knockers are orcish barbarians, then these are giving elvish rogues. These are athletic, cunning, discreet. Uh, they're light, easy on the back, and they, they allow for a greater allotment for inventory. And they can be wrapped uh, quite nicely in the finest stealth garb. Perfect for sneaking in and out of the opposition's many hideouts and fortresses to, to do uh, thievery and assassinations. Um, you know, the, these, these, them things don't clap. They slice through the night air. Uh, the, you know, b uh, a couple of whispers before the blade penetrates your lungs. Um, and terrific complexion. You know I like them pale, folks. And, and the, you know, like a, almost like a, a limestone or maybe a calcite, I'd say. Glowing even, like Frodo's blade sting. Uh, and what a fun view, what a fun perspective. You know, the inverted boobage. Uh, the, the last thing you'll see before the bearer's poison-tipped arrow strikes you. Uh, a good death, as long as it means I get a, a, a gander at them, them little handfuls one last time. Um, and, and, uh, you know, a great, uh, <clears throat> great presentation. I love the outfit, you know, form-fitting, compression. What do I always say, folks? We, we're going to repeat this. Meat and mystique and when it comes to the elves uh it's a lot of mystique with you know with a, a couple of galadriels like this uh definitely um a lot of the uh what meat there is uh you know these things are lean there's not a lot of meat you know there, there's there's two out there, you know there's two inch thick porterhouses and these are little filet mignons wrap them in bacon you know what i mean uh but um yeah there's there's a good showing of uh some of the meat and, and then the rest is concealed under the garb um no noticeable veins from what i can tell but that's an age thing this is a a younger one maybe 100 150 years old uh considering you know the the, the lifespan of elves uh but these you know the veins will come in uh, probably in a few hundred years, and unfortunately, I will not be around to to see that. For I am of man, and, and such is life. But when you know when they do come in, uh, it, it will be you know a, a great uh, scrawl, you know, scrawl of wisdom and character on a couple of uh, you know. A couple of Rivendells like these, uh, you know, it, it, the, the, them things will tell a, tell a damn story. Um, no sunspots either, but, you know, the, these things can't really be out in the sun too long with this complexion. Um, so, uh, you know, roll a, roll a couple of natural 20s. Uh, definitely 10 out of 10 wood motorboat.